guys, it's Alyssa. Uh, some of you may know me as a friend or family member. Other people might not know me at all, so thanks for stopping by. I am the Chief Technology Officer at Elevation. Elevation is a company that provides whole home energy solutions. So anything from rooftop solar, home automation, energy efficiency, anything along those lines, uh, you know, we provide for our customers. And the thing that I really love about working at Elevation is our motto. Every employee there follows the creed to elevate the world that we live in. And that's especially important to me. Uh, for those of you that know my husband and myself, we are big believers in giving back, particularly to the youth and disadvantaged youth. So children with medical problems, children that perhaps come from a disadvantaged background and don't have the same opportunity we give to either personally as part of charities or through volunteer work. So you may be wondering why I'm doing this event. And in order to explain that, we need to jump back about 12 years to my wedding night. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep it G for you. But after we said our vows, we, were, we got married on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean. And just so you know, every other person on the boat was probably three to four decades older than we were. So that night we went down, we found this little nightclub with live music and I was feeling pretty good and young and I'd been working out to fit my wedding dress and just feeling pretty good overall. And the band started playing the song by Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. I thought, oh, this is perfect. And we get on the dance floor and, you know, just this magical moment where I feel like we're just doing amazing. And then the band picks up and plays another song and I've got some moves and I look around and I realized that all these senior citizens are absolutely dominating us on the dance floor and they can do everything, whether it's foxtrot, cha-cha, doesn't, doesn't matter. If, if it's a dance, they know it, they're executing it and we pretty much put our tails between our legs, went back, sat down, enjoyed the entertainment for the rest of the evening, and I vowed to myself that someday I would be able to ballroom dance. Not, not like house party dance in college, but legitimate footwork, know how to dance. So 12 years later, two kids later, I've made zero progress. Haven't even taken a lesson until uh, Carrie Jacobs, who's this year's co-chair at the gala, asked me to participate last year. And that was intriguing, but what really hooked me was Camp Kidney. For those of you that don't know, the foundation every year in October takes um, 40 plus children between the ages of eight to 18. And for two days, they get like the ultimate camp experience. Uh, they sleep, you know, in the cabins, they do archery, they learn how to cook outdoors, they do these messy competitions with their counselors and have a blast. And that might not seem like much to you or me, um, something that we would take for granted as part of childhood, but a lot of these kids have never even been able to leave their parents' side since their diagnosis of kidney disease. They are either late stage kidney disease or on dialysis or have had transplants or on a transplant list and their reality is very different. So for them, just having this opportunity with their peers, uh, with people who understand what they're going through on a different level, and just being able to be a kid, I think is, is critical for their development and just overall well-being. So I was lucky enough to attend this year and um, it's, it's a really magical, special thing. It costs about $1,000 per kid to send them. And the reason is, um, the whole reason that they can do this is that they bring up doctors, they bring up registered nurses, dialysis machines, the 50 to 70 pills a day that, that these kids that have had transplants have to take. It's incredible. It's like a remote hospital out in the middle of the woods um, that permits kids this freedom. So I encourage you, this really touches my heart. This is something that I think is absolutely amazing. I really encourage you to open your hearts and your wallets. And even if it's $5, if it's not $1,000, I don't care because those $5 add up to $1,000 per kid. Uh, one other thing to mention, uh, this is so important to Brian and I, that we do want to match 10% of all donations made under my name. So if you give $10, we'll give $1. If you give $100, we'll give 10. You know, if you feel like just dropping 10 large, we'll put in 1,000. So please donate to the cause. It's amazing. And maybe after this, I can drag Brian to some lessons. And when we're 70 plus at our 50 anniversary on a cruise, maybe we can school all the uh, youngins out there. So thanks, bye.